Well, congratulations on the film, Philippa. Um, set during the 1970s, or 1970 Miss World contest. Um, do you remember beauty contests on TV? Do you remember this particular one? I don't remember this particular contest. I think I was just a little bit too young. But I do remember watching beauty contests on TV with my sisters and we just, we used to reenact them, I'm, I'm ashamed to say. Put our swimming costumes on and parade around the sitting room. Um, yeah, but I, 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 it was a, a wonderful thing to be invited to direct this film and revisit this time and look back at it from now and think, oh my goodness me, what were we thinking? So how did the idea come about for, for making the film? What sparked your interest in it? The idea came from a programme called The Reunion, which is on Radio oh, 4. Radio 4, yes. Yeah. And the, the writer, Rebecca Frain, and the producer, Susan Mackey, heard this programme. And then, quite a few years later, when they had a script ready, they looked for a director. And I'm so lucky that they, they thought <laughs> of me. Um, and so when they invited me to be part of their team, I was absolutely delighted and thrilled to be part of it because it was just such a brilliant true story to investigate and explore and also a complicated story because you've got the contestants on the one hand and you've got the women's liberation on the other and bringing these two sides together and, and exploring both felt like a really brilliant thing to do. So why is now the right time to tell this story? It's, it's, it's a really good time to tell this story now. It's 50 years ago since 1970, Miss World, so it's really good to reflect on what liber women's liberation achieved for us, what, what, what they've fought for for us, and also to see how far we've still to go. For instance, they fought for equal pay for equal work, but we still haven't quite got that, have we? Um, and so it's, it's really interesting to take stock right now and think, how far have we got to go? How and fun. you've put together a fantastic cast for this with Kira Knightley, Jesse Buckley and Gugu and Butter Roll. What made them so right for their particular roles? They're all very, very talented actresses and they all embodied their real person that they were portraying so beautifully. I've always wanted to work with Kira Knightley. I think she's a, so, such a fine actress. And when she said yes to playing Sally, I was so excited. I thought she was just be the best person for, to portray Sally and for, for Gugu as well what what better person could I have found for for playing uh, Jennifer with such dignity and and such a kind of um, empathy that Gugu had for playing Jennifer and Jessie is a is a force of nature and and so brilliant and and so mischievous and she captured Joe brilliantly so each are very vivid in their portrayal of their different characters. I think for some people the portrayal of Bob Hope in the film might be a bit of an eye-opener. Where did that come from? How did you go about researching it? Well, we just had to look at the archive of the real event. If you look at the archive of the 1970 Miss World competition, you see it happen in front of your very eyes. You see his sexist jokes and then you see some things, some missiles fly past his ears, and then you see the police running in to capture the <laughs> women's liberation people. It's it's there for everybody to look to to look at, basically. And most of your career has actually been in television. Are you going back to television after this, or another film, or what are you going to do? I've loved making this film, so I'd absolutely love to make another film. But I also love television. I think the best of television is equal to the best of film, and. You know, but making a film is some a little bit special. It's, it's, it's fantastic. It's so exciting to go into the underground and see your posters everywhere. And, you know, it, that, that's pretty exciting. And so I've, I would love to make another film.